March is National Kidney Month. The annual campaign raises awareness about kidney health. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz talked to a local doctor about ways to prevent kidney disease. So, Liz, what'd you find out? Well, guys, kidney disease affects millions of Americans. Doctors say understanding your risk factors and making healthy lifestyle changes can lead to better kidney health. This National Kidney Month, the focus is on building paths to better kidney care. Dr. Rudy Larrick is a nephrologist with Duke Health. When kidney disease is recognized early, then we can do something about it. So that is why uh, we are very keen of uh, raising awareness. Data from the National Institute of Health shows 37 million people in the U.S. are estimated to have a chronic kidney disease. Nine in ten people are not aware of it. Those who have diabetes or high blood pressure are at higher risk for developing kidney disease. In fact, um, about half of the patients who end up um, on dialysis in the United States happen to have diabetes. Dr. Larrick says by the time you notice symptoms, kidney disease is likely in late stages. And that's why annual blood work is key to catching it early. That is a very, very good tool to screen for chronic kidney disease. In patients who are at risk, uh, like those who have a family history of kidney disease, those who have high blood pressures, those who have diabetes, those patients are being screened much earlier. Maintaining a healthy weight and diet, exercising and no smoking are also lifestyle changes that can improve kidney health. And having kidney disease is not a death sentence. Having kidney disease is, is an opportunity to do something about it. Uh, so seek out uh, a healthy lifestyle, uh, see a doctor, and uh, follow good doctor's advice. And just to give an idea of scope, 600,000 patients in the U.S. are either dialysis or kidney transplant patients, and about 100,000 are currently waiting for a transplant. So Dr. Larrick says it's also important to spread the word about kidney donation being a life-saving intervention. All right. Guys. Thanks, Liz. Yeah, very interesting stuff.